Today we're taking a look at the new Star Citizen Prison Escape Mission that allows a player to clear their crime stat just outside Klesher Prison without ever needing to enter a security outpost. The new mission is provided remotely by our favorite holographic figure from Grimhex, the infamous info agent Ruto. It involves the existing platforming tunnel route that you may already be familiar with and a few additional leaps of faith followed by a quick adventure to a small crash site nearby. How does this differ from the escape and crime stat hacking options in previous patches you may wonder? Prior to Star Citizen 3.18, a player not up to the challenge of earning merits could also opt to exit the facility via the access tunnels in a not so legal manner. This generally required a friend braving the Klesher air defenses to help them make the getaway, and then from there, either continue a life of crime or head to one of the many security posts to hack their crime stat before the bounty hunters arrive. As of Star Citizen 3.18, however, the options for hacking your crime stat have changed significantly, as have the prison sentences. CIG has removed all but one hacking terminal in the verse, and it's located in the newly reworked security post Korea orbiting Crusader's moon of Selen. While it is still possible to escape and hack your crime stat there, it's likely to be much more dangerous and contested in 3.18. This change makes the new Ruto Klesher mission the only other way to clear your crime stat without engaging in merit farming activities or letting the sentence time expire. If you find yourself inside Klesher for crimes you clearly did not commit, Ruto should eventually offer you the need and out delivery mission on your contracts manager personal tab. Ruto requests that you simply retrieve a data chip from a former associate who is presumed dead somewhere within the Klesher access tunnels. After uploading the contents of the chip, he promises to clear your crime stat remotely and give you your freedom back. You'll also gain reputation and affinity with Ruto, opening up missions with him in the future. After accepting the mission, a marker will give you the location of an active ventilation fan which is currently blocking access to the tunnels that exit the prison. The first step is to make our way over to the entrance of the work mines to get the fan code so we can stop the fan. Holding F and scrolling up with the mouse wheel will zoom in to help see the code. With the code in hand, we'll make our way over to the mission waypoint and use the access panel to enter the code to stop the fan. Once the fan stops, enter the tunnels via the gap in the blades. At this point, the next stage of the mission will trigger, giving you a new marker that shows the location of the previous associate within the access tunnels. Navigate the escape route, keeping an eye out for the mission marker along the way. If you're not familiar with the escape route, I will link a guide in the description below, which gives a full walkthrough should you need it. Once at the mission waypoint location, jump carefully to the platform and loot the old associate's corpse to retrieve the data chip Ruto is looking for. Note that there are several possible locations for the associate and each requires a bit of extra jumping from the default escape route path. You will likely find yourself retracing the escape route a bit as you retreat from this spot, but continue until you reach the laser tripwire room that contains the code for the Ursa rovers outside. These tripwires were a new addition in 3.17 and need to be navigated carefully. If you touch them, they will explode and kill you, causing the mission to fail and you will have to accept the mission again and start over. Don't ask me how I know. The first set can be navigated while crouched then prone and some players remove their backpack to allow for more clearance. Use the box and jump over the final set of tripwires. Stop here to get the codes for the garages outside, which contain Ursa rovers required to make your way to the next location and upload the data chip. Ensure that at least one of the garages reads occupied before proceeding, otherwise you will find yourself unlocking an empty garage and likely a quick death due to being unprotected from the elements. Proceed with escaping to the outer section of the prison and make your way carefully to the external garages containing the rovers and enter the code to access the rover inside. You should also notice that since you've retrieved the data chip, the mission is updated with the crash site location just outside of Klesher, where the data chip needs to be uploaded. Head over to the waypoint, where you will find some wreckage and a Cutlass Black waiting. Be careful exiting, as Hurston security may be in the area, and bounty hunters have been spotted sniping from the hills on occasion. Move quickly into the section with the data terminal, and after accessing the data chip from your inventory, upload the data to Ruto. Once complete, your crime stat will be cleared and you can now make your way to the Cutlass Black just outside and make your way back into society. You have about 15 minutes to leave the area before Klesher turrets start firing at you for trespassing, but this should be plenty of time to extract from the area in your new ride. Hopefully this helps give you an overview of the new Ruto mission in 3.18. Let me know in the comments below if you have any additional tips or tricks regarding the mission, and try not to get into too much trouble out there. Thanks for watching.